said it took you a while to trust Coach Herman. What was kind of the moment where you said, okay, I'm all in with this guy? Uh, you know, he, uh, he showed me that I can trust him. You know, I can depend on him whatever I need. You know, he coached me really good. And um, he put me in good situations that um, I, can, I can take advantage of. And uh, he helped me on the, on the field and outside the field too. You know, he helped me with a lot of things. And uh, I'm very, I'm very uh, blessed to have him. The team bonding stuff that you mentioned that y'all didn't do in the past but are doing now, do you think it's having its intended effect of whatever that may be, either making y'all closer or making y'all relaxed? Do you think it's, it's working? Yeah, I mean, I see guys that be playing around in the locker room that I never see playing around in the locker room before. I'm like, man, I'm like, this dude really playing, you know, uh, interacting with people. You know, it's, it's pretty cool to see people that was, um, you know, that didn't, that was like in the corner, they didn't really didn't talk to nobody. And, you know, now they're just walking around being loose and, more involved with people. So that's how that's how it should be. You know, that's yeah. how we get closer and that's how we play for each other. Feel relaxed heading into this season? I feel confident, relaxed, comfortable, all that. <laughs> how often Thanks, do, you Braxton. do you like doing this stuff? Talking to the media and all that? Or yeah, I do, it? but I don't know about this morning. I mean, <laughs> so early, man. That's why I got to get some coffee in my system. <laughs> but no, that's cool, though. You know, uh, I've been very blessed to be in this situation, man. I don't, I don't take nothing for granted, you know. Uh, if I wasn't doing nothing good, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm very blessed. I take advantage of the situations, and you know, now I like it. You know, I, I think about it in a positive way. So I love you guys, man. <laughs> how often have you found yourself thinking back to that Michigan State game last year, considering how close you guys were to playing for a national title? Uh, I thought about it for like a month, but now it's it's behind me, man. I got to think about it as a good a good learning segment in life. You know, when we down down in the game, you know, we got to take take advantage in the early game to, you know, make big plays instead of going to the crunch time to make plays. So, you know, we'll, we'll see when November 8th can. How does that change things now, knowing that they're in the same division as you and you're going to get that opportunity to redeem yourself against them? It's going to be fun, man. You know, uh, it's a night game, too. So, you know, prime time. Hey, that, that's, that's going to be one of the biggest games, I feel like, on uh, ESPN this year. It's going to be fun, man. Even for Big Ten. You like playing night games considering you got five of them? Oh, yeah, I love them. I had to toast. I, I, uh, me and Coach Mario was talking about that. I'm like, man, Coach, you need to get some more night games like you did in Florida. So mm -hmm. he agreed with me. He liked playing night games as well, too. So that's what. That's when all the big players come, man. I feel like, you know, at nighttime, everybody's tuned in, get good rest throughout the whole day, and uh, play a, a, a fun game at night. So. Does that, does that change the intensity, not just with you, but like with some of your teammates when you're preparing for a game and you know that it's going to be on that kind of stage? Man, oh yeah, for sure. Everybody's thinking about it all day. Mm -hmm. You know, they uh, they get really intense. Uh, I'm sure they visualize it every time. Um, you know, they wake up, go to sleep, mm -hmm. they think about it the whole day. So you got a whole bunch of you got whole, you got a whole lot of time to think about what you're going to do in that game that night. Braxton, what's Michael Bennett like? He's admittedly kind of a weird guy. <laughs> That's how he described himself. That's what he said? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I mean, he tweets about some things that you wouldn't expect a football player to <laughs> What do you tweet? About. Just like about politics and stuff. And what, I mean, what, what's Michael Bennett like for those of us who don't get to know him like you? Know? He probably hit on himself. You know, he, he's a weird guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, nah, he's cool. He's cool. Um, he got good personality, but I don't know. I don't know what he'd be doing when he when he leave here. So, I don't know. His personal life. <laughs> I don't really take his Twitter, but I'm going to take him now since you said that. <laughs> That's funny. But, no, nah, he's strong. He's physical. Uh, I think he's a black belt or something like that. So, yeah. What's up, bud? What's up, man? How are you? Good. Uh, so, this year, are you expecting yourself to, uh, to really get into that Heisman race? Is that something that you, a goal that you've set for yourself? Yeah, man. I've been in the Heisman race for like the last two years, so... I got to take advantage of what we got in front of me this year. So I got a lot of guys making a lot of plays for me this year. So we don't, we don't make sure we get to that peak. And, uh, you know, if I'm in a situation in the Heisman at the end of the year, hopefully yes. I get to walk across that, that podium and accept that award. Now, Coach Meyer said the offensive line is something that's a big concern for him. Is that a big concern for you just in terms of having guys in front to protect you? Yeah, absolutely, if he's saying it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take care of that situation in camp. So. I'm not too worried. The way we train, the way we focus, the way we watch film, and um, I really don't got a problem with 
what uh, Camp going to bring to us with the offensive line situation. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be all right. What do you see from your defense so far? I mean, you haven't been able to play against any, but just watching from the sidelines, what do you see from your defense this far? This year is a whole, is a whole dude in defense, man. You know, we got Coach Ash, we got Coach Jay from Penn State, and um, pretty tune in guys, pretty smart guys, man. And they, he's getting he's getting the D line prepared, man. When he first got here, they did some crazy drills. I never seen the D line do. And the guys like, man, these are some good drills, but man, it's gonna get us better for the season. So pressing every every play and things like that, press quarters, it's gonna be fun, man. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna take a little heat off the offense to score a lot of points this year. Braxton, do you? I mean, you've seen the defense work. You didn't get to go against them in the spring. <laughs> well, but did you notice the uh, up tempo in your face, pressing, press coverage, etc.? And did the guys seem to enjoy it? Yeah, man, they feel a lot more comfortable with what they're doing. It's not too complicated. They, they said last year, defense was so complicated. Every time a motion, they 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 check into a different play. So, yeah. you know, this year they just don't stay in one one little play. I mean, not one little, but they don't stay in one play. That's going to take. Um, take them far in this year. So, you know, hope there's not a lot of points scored on our defense this year. You know, uh, guys look a lot more comfortable with what they're doing. What was the uh, benefit? Obviously, you probably would like to have been out there in the spring to a certain extent, but what was the benefit of not having to go through spring from a, from a grind standpoint or whatever uh, to you? What was what did you feel was a benefit? I mean, Jeff Ironman said, you know, you kind of let him be become refreshed. Of course, he had to have a surgery to have that. Right, right. I feel the same way. You know, I feel refreshed. You know, take a couple month, couple, uh, couple weeks off. You know, from football, not throwing the ball, whatever, not running. You know, conditioning wise, but you know, um, you know, it's the mental game that that helps you a lot. So that's what we did, and the mental game is going to elevate my game this year. Does your arm feel better? Does it feel stronger? I mean, what does it feel like after the surgery and stuff? Do you feel like they've made things tighter? You understand what I'm saying? I mean, what's, yeah, it feels clean. There, is there a different sensation? You know, everything that was wrong my shoulder, it feel a lot better. You know, uh, I've been throwing for two months now, and I feel I feel good. The strength is there. There's no problem with it right now, so you know, I feel good. Is there more pop on your fastball? I don't know. I mean, there's always been a pop on my fastball. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's about the same. You know, uh, I haven't really, like, threw a fastball in, in like, in game situation, like, practice-wise, because, you know, I ain't been practicing, but... I'm pretty sure when competition comes, it's going to be the same same level that I was. Thank you. Is it going to be harder for you to adjust just not playing in spring ball coming into fall camp? No, nah, no, nah, not at all. You know, when competition's on the line, it, it's just natural. You know, uh, uh, you know, when I came back, you know, working with quarterbacks and drills and stuff, they thought I was going to be rusty. They're like, man, wow, you ain't, you ain't missed a beat. So, you know, I, I mean, I'm always tuned in, focused. Braxton, give me, like give a, me one like or two guys that you think are going to make going to jump out and make an impression this year that uh, especially in early in the in season that people don't know a lot about on the offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, Zeke, Corey Smith, Mike Thomas, the guys on the outside, um, Donnie Dixon, Dontre. That's probably the guys that's going to make, make some people like, man, wow. Like, where, 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 where these guys been at? You know, and, uh, it's going to be fun. Some unique way you were watching spring practices from the sidelines to give a camera on or something. Is that right? Yeah, that was more like for the coaches to make sure I'm uh, I'm paying attention and in, in, uh, in practice, make sure I'm reading the defenses and um, make sure I'm I'm focused and tuned in with the plays and stuff. Because I really ain't watch that. That's it's more for them. Yeah, because they can hear me talk and stuff too. Yeah. Between that and the QB camp, though, it sounds like they were trying to create some unique ways of just learning for you. What was that like from your standpoint? It was good, man. It worked out pretty good. You know, they were simulating what was what was going to happen. You know, at Bruton Camp, uh, at the NFL NFL uh, Combine Draft situation, but it worked out pretty good, man. They they put me through a lot of situations. That I was really really uh, surprised with. What were you surprised about? How fast the tempo. You know, uh, answering questions. How rapid fire. You know, they want you to uh, to answer the questions and how tuned in you got to be. Can't get sidetracked. Jeff Fireman was talking yesterday about how you and he were sitting in a meeting like the first day you were there and couldn't believe the complexity of the offense and everything that was going on. Just 
from that point to today, what are some of the things you feel that have really changed for you or, or how have you developed for this? You know, when you're in, a, in the system for so long, you get so used to the plays and the formations, and it's like, you know, that's back of your hand. So when we first, first seen that playbook, we were like, we were like, nah, we ain't gonna get this done this year. <laughs> And uh, it was pretty big, man. It felt like a, uh, a Harry Potter book. They kept going and going and going. So, you know, they broke it down to segments. And uh, we got a gas of, of certain plays, and we took advantage of them. Talk about Jeff. He was averaging 30 yards a catch at the end of the season last year, making some explosive plays. Is he a guy that you can rely upon, that, that you're going to use a lot this year, you think? Oh, yeah, for sure. I was just talking to him about that the other day. You know, he's a big guy. He's a big matchup, even if you put him on the outside. And uh, match up for guys, his vertical, how big he is, you know, how strong, how, hand, how big of hands he got. And, you know, there's a mismatch. We got to get the ball to him early in the season. When your senior season's over, what do you want fans and Buckeye fans to remember you as? Pretty much a champion, man. You know, I've been in situations that I overcame as a freshman and sophomore, and it's not easy, you know. Um, and, um, and uh, you know, I just want to go out with a with a nice run this year, and I want to be known as a champion. If your production last year was spread out over say 13 games instead of like nine or whatever it ended up being because the injury, did, you know, where do you think you would have been in that Heisman race? Um, I forgot who said something about that. I said, yeah, in the first couple of games in the season, you could have um, you know boosted your stats with them on the first couple of games, and that's the games I miss, and you know I. Very blessed to come back from the injury, though. You know, from playing Wisconsin, you know, I played pretty good, and you know, as long as the injury come back and I'll be 100, percent I'm fine. But you know, uh, it could have been a different situation at the end of the season. Yeah. How different? What would have been different? Did, did you did you do you feel like you missed out on a, on something last year in that regard? Last year? All the hype going into the year and stuff, and then three games taken away from you and stuff. Do you? Yeah. You feel like you really, I mean, how tough was it, I guess, to watch the Heisman, you know? This is real tough. You know, real tough, man. You know, we made a lot of explosive plays, and, you know, we wasn't getting really recognized for what we was doing. And um, I think, I, you know, I fell off the Heisman radar because, you know, injury wise, and that's what happens. And, you know, you miss a couple of games, you, 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 uh, your name get, you know, pushed to the side. So. Quickly forgotten. Yeah, and I'm like, man, wow, you really got to, you know, Stay healthy and stuff like that. Too. Hey, what, what quarterback in the country today, going into the season, has your interest? I mean, interest interest of what? You're interested in watching. You, you enjoy watching him, or you like Mariota or some of those guys. Who who, who kind of jumps out at you as another quarterback in the country who's very talented? Um. Yeah, I mean, they always compare me and Mariota all the time, so. I'm gonna be watching him all the time too. So is that a fair comparison? I mean, do you do you like what he does? I mean, what would he, what do you like about his game? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that a loaded question? Yeah, it is a lot. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna answer that one. <laughs>